The High Court has now given judgment in a case where a coroner was seeking disclosure of the documentation forming part of a serious case review, in particular individual management reviews and information reports. The court accepted that, in principle, public interest immunity could apply to those documents and it was therefore appropriate that the High Court should undertake a balancing exercise looking at the competing interests of the two organisations. So on the one hand the concern of the Local Safeguarding Children Board that if disclosure of these documents was allowed it may adversely affect future investigations if people felt that information provided in confidence might be shared with other organisations. On the other hand, the coroner was concerned that he would not be able to discharge his duty to undertake a full, frank and fearless inquiry if he did not have access to all relevant documentation. The judge was able to review all the material in question and form the view that disclosure of that documentation to the coroner was in the public interest. This was because without that information, the coroner would not be able to make a full and informed decision in relation to the scope of his inquiry. The judge was very clear that his comments in relation to disclosure related to disclosure to the coroner only, not to members of the public or to any of the interested persons involved in the inquest process. The question of onward disclosure by the coroner would be one for him to determine at a hearing in the future, subject to the supervision of the High Court. The judge recognised the principles of confidentiality underpinning the serious case review process, but thought that would be protected, bearing in mind disclosure would only be taking place to the coroner.